Hey, I'm Greya. I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Congratulations with the new single, Lightning. Um, you've been releasing, I mean, I know you, you're you still new to the game, but like so far, every track that you've released has been pretty incredible. Um, so let's dive in and, and talk about Lightning and featuring Marky Basie on this, because uh, that's a pretty big feature. Yeah. Well, thank you, by the way, for everything you just said. I was just waiting for you to finish, but that was all super nice. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this track. Like what really um, kind of kick-started the writing process for this song? Um, the writing process. So originally I was one of my, as you know, the producer on the song, Isaiah, he was also a co-writer. And we were like, he's one of my best friends long before we ever did anything musical together. And we decided to just try and see if we worked well together in music and lightning was supposed to be the only song we did to we tried together but it ended up being the first of five and it was honestly it was just it just was friendship that inspired it it was supposed to just be something fun it wasn't meant to be anything super serious and it ended up being one of my favorite songs i've ever written so it was just supposed to be casual Listening to the song and listening to your previous material, like this one gives me more of a cine cinematic kind of vibe. Um, was this something that kind of happened during the writing process? Like you knew this was the style or, or sound that you kind of wanted out of it? Or was this something that once you stepped in uh, to record it with Isaiah, like this kind of vision of the sound kind of came to life? Um, I think it's a combination of both. I think I was, I mean, the song is about obviously some kind of breakup and um I, it was inspired by both things I was going through at the time personally, things I had friends going through, and also just exactly where the track took us. So it was pretty early into the song, just hearing the track without any vocal melody, that I knew I wanted it to be almost apocalyptic. Like the chorus line, it starts with about like lightning striking down and like obviously the world is just completely ending. So I wanted... And the lyrics are pretty dramatic, too, especially in the first verse. You're setting up, you know, basically that you burn alive for this person. So um, the lyrics mixed with what I was going through at the time and the track being kind of the backbone, it all just pulled me in like an apocalyptic thing. And obviously, if you're going to think about something like that, you better back it up with, <laughs> with a big track. And not only was it backed up with a big track, but you backed it up with a big feature. So what was it about Mark that you wanted, like you envisioned him as part of this song? And what was that collaborative process like during the recording process? Yeah, um, so I was a fan of Mark years before I ever did anything in music. And even just when I was younger, I always listened to his music with my friends. And he was ne he was always somebody that was on a couple, at least a couple playlists of mine. So when... This song was always going to be a duet, um, and I knew that I needed a male vocalist, and I was talking with my manager at the time, and I just shot out a few names of people that, you know, if in a dream world, you know, barring something absolutely impossible that I would love to have on the song, and she happened to know someone, knew Mark or no Mark, and no Mark herself, and she just said, I'll give it a shot. You know, the, the likelihood is, I don't even know if there is any likelihood percentage in this, but she sent him the song, and we heard back pretty much immediately. But it was just me being a fan that inspired that, and also his obvious talent and his voice, but it was really, really lucky. Like, I'm very lucky that he's the type of person to just like a song and that be enough of a reason for him to just jump on it, because a lot of people aren't like that. That's true. That's very true. Now, as far as like him jumping onto the track, did you give him any like, uh, did you have any say on like the lyrics? Like, is that something that he stepped in and helped you out on? Or like, what was that process like? Yeah, so I wrote the entire song before um, that happened. So I honestly was expecting him to come in and want to change stuff like want to change the melody or some of the lyrics. And I told him from the bat, I was down to hear any of his ideas. I'd be lucky, you know, but to my surprise, he didn't want to change a thing. He just 
And I remember I was almost confused. We had a phone call and I was like, feel free to do anything to this. And he was like, well, I'm a firm believer in like, don't fix it if it's not broken. Like, I like it how it is. So he just was ended up just being like a support and had my back. He makes up. I mean, I lack a lot, a lot of experience and working with somebody that you used to look up to or that you do currently look up to. But going from just looking up to them to working with them is intimidating. Um, but he was just like a champion of the song and super like welcoming and warm and nice and he didn't change a thing. Would you say that, that, that had an impact on you moving forward on all your music now that you have his like approval of like, yeah. you're doing a great job as a songwriter. Yeah. I, I mean, in all honesty, every single day, <laughs> like doing this, it's just like a battle to feel good about yourself doing it. It's like a soul crushing thing to try to do. Like there's a million people trying to do it and there's so much good music out there. And it's also just all, it's a huge head game constantly. I mean, you're like, you're con- like, you don't, you know, clock in and clock out. It's just like, am I creative enough to create things that people are relating to and like? Um, and that's hard on the self-esteem. So to have somebody like him just stamp his approval and know this is good enough for me to just jump on, I'm not going to change it, and I'm going to be nice and fun and cool, like, yeah, it was a huge confidence boost, and it came in at exactly the right time for me because I was feeling pretty down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now, going back to Isaiah as your producer, how would you say he challenged you to step out of your comfort zone when it came to the vocals on this track? He's Isaiah is one of the most talented people I've ever met. And even honestly, working with him was even a confidence boost, too. I mean, I knew he was one, he's one of my best friends. But he um, when he asked if he could produce a song, I was like, you want to produce a song for me? You want to work with me? You know, so that um, was exciting. But I think being such good friends, number one, enabled me to like, um, experiment a lot more than I would have if I was in like a, a less familiar setup, which is so often what happens. You go into co-writes and it's like someone you might need to impress. So you're a little nervous to just kind of rattle off ideas when 50% of them might be bad or weird or embarrassing. But going into it with one of my best friends was step one, like enabled me to get out of my comfort zone. But beyond that, Isaiah is... Isaiah has an R&B background, which is different for me off the jump. And melodically, he's like a savant. Like he just is constantly churning out melodies. And it's almost like whack-a-mole, like trying to grab one long enough before he passes it. Like, wait, 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 like what was that? And like elaborating on it together. But I think number one, our friendship. Um, number two, his his background being different from mine. And also just his mentality, like on it. Um He's someone very, very easy to work with. He's not a bulldozer. He's good at what he does. I'm good at what I do, what I do. And pulling that out of each other and not being scared to like, you know, say whatever we think. The fact that you're telling me all this, like it sounds like every throughout the beginning, middle and end of this track of creating the track, like it sounds like it was just like an easy peasy type of like deal. But did you feel yeah. like there was a challenge at all during the creative process of the song? This was one of the first songs I've ever done that I, do- I didn't feel a huge challenge. It happened so wow. fast. It was so, it was literally, and I think that's why I was so eager to, to drop it was because I had never had an experience like this where it just flowed easily, effortlessly. The song I feel like a lot of times I go back and listen to songs. I'm like, why did I say it like that? Or why did I sing it like that? And just question like my choices. Um, and there's always, or there's usually like struggles in a writing process, whether you're with a producer that you don't necessarily mesh with or the production or just the production and in general is not going where you want it. But sometimes as a singer, I don't feel like I have the language to express what I'm looking for, looking for, like where I want it to go. But this was the first song. It wasn't like that. Um, the only challenge was getting it out fast enough. I just wanted to just sing it and finish it. It was so fun. And I wish it became, it honestly set the standard for like how I want every experience to go. What so, do you yeah. think it was that made it such a, like 
such an easy process in a sense. Like, do you think like it was because of the writing process? Like you came into the session already knowing the identity of the track or like, what do you think it was that really made it so easy throughout the entire way? I think um, working with a friend that genuinely inspires me. Um, I also had just moved to a new city and I was in kind of like main character mode. Like I just, I just, it was just this recipe. Like we lived in this old, it was the environment. Like we moved to this old house in East Nashville with a creepy attic and we made a studio up there. And that just gave it this energy of like a little magical project. Um, and I had also just kind of gone through like a breakup ish and that's where my head was at. So I think no matter what I was going to say, no matter what I was going to try to write, if it was a lower tempo song, it was probably going to be inspired by that in some way. So it was just a recipe for success in terms of like direction, not getting like sidetracked or confused. And I had like a best friend who were very similar, um, who I could just bounce ideas off of. It was so, and I also think most importantly, it wasn't supposed to be a big deal. So it was really just for fun to start with. Whereas I feel like when you go into a session where you know you're about to work with a two-time Grammy award-winning person and you're going to sit down, like there's this part of you that's like, I need to impress you and I need to leave with like a good yeah. song. Because I want to come stress. back here. Yeah, and it adds stress. But this was not supposed to be, I didn't even go into it thinking it was anything other than like me and my friend messing around to start with. So it took a lot of pressure off. So, yeah. That's more well, congratulations with lightning um and i am very much looking forward to more music from you so uh hopefully next time around we can do this in person and we can actually like be in a studio maybe figure out or, or get to experience like what it's like to be with Greya in the studio yeah hell yeah that would be so cool <laughs> let's do that <laughs> no one's, oh my god first film interview now i'm gonna have a film studio session possibly there you but. go Let's go. We're, we're climbing up in the world. See, things are happening. Yeah, all today. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Congratulations once again. And like I said, I'm looking forward to more music from you. Thank you for having me. This was so fun.